Him and his wife and kids moved next door to me. About a week later, we got intimate a couple of times. You got intimate a couple yes. of times? You're not in a relationship anymore, are you? No. We never were in a relationship, Your Honor. He was using me. It's using my name, Your Honor. It, it, it is what it is. I got you. Well, one of you then has to not be telling the truth. Plaintiff Stacy Fraser asked a neighbor to cash a $2,000 check for her, but claims he only gave her half the cash. She's suing for $1,000 for the remainder of her missing money. Defendant Jason Mayer claims he gave the plaintiff all her money and more. He says he owes her nothing. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. I do. Thank you. The Honorable Judge Jerry Springer now presiding. Good morning, Your Honor. Morning, Nige. How are you? I'm doing well, Judge. Good. This is case 005 on the docket, Frazier versus Marr. And welcome to both of you. We have the plaintiff, Stacy Frazier. You are suing your friend, Jason Mayer, for $1,000 for what you say is stolen money. Yes. First of all, how did you guys meet? Him and his wife and kids moved next door to me. Yes. So they became my neighbors. Uh, okay, and now what happened? After they moved in, about a week later, his wife took two of their kids and up and moved to New Mexico. So um, after that, me and Jason started <clears throat> talking and we got really close. Um, I started helping him around the house, like cleaning, um, taking care of his dog. He also helped me like move, move heavy things around my house and hang stuff up and stuff like that. Okay, so you were good neighbors helping each other out? Is yes. this what you're saying? Yes, yeah. Your Honor. So uh, you're here because you say he stole $1,000 from you. How did this come about? Well, Your Honor, I was hurt back in 2018. Um, I couldn't walk for five and a half months. What happened? Um, I got hurt in Walmart parking lot. Oh, a car accident? Well, not exactly. I was pushing a cart full of groceries to the car, and um, the cart got jammed in a pothole. Oh. And Due to that, I had a sprained foot, sprained ankle, my sprained knee. Okay, so you yeah. were hurt. Okay. Yes. Um, I got a settlement check of two grand or two thousand. Okay. Um, and when did you get that settlement check? November fourteenth of two thousand nineteen. Do we have a copy of that, or did you submit a? Uh, it's evidence A. So this is a two thousand dollars settlement check. And what did you? It says settlement proceeds in the memo. What happened then when you got the check? After I got the check, I needed the um, money as soon as possible so I could get a car for me and my kids. He actually drove me to my bank and we tried- Who's he? Jason Marr. Oh, okay. Yes. So you had got the check. You needed the cash right away. The bank was closed. His bank it lets you to like take a picture of the check and it automatically goes into your account. Oh, so you gave him the check to deposit in his account? Yes, he offered to put it in his account and then give me the two grand back. But it wasn't going to get cashed any quicker there. Uh, he actually gave me gave me a um, a thousand dollars of the two thousand dollar check that day. Well, you gave him a two thousand dollar check, so you obviously trusted him that yes. he would give you two thousand back. Yes, I trusted him because after well, we got we got close, we became we got intimate a couple of times. So that you got intimate a couple yes. of times. We yep. never were in a relationship, Your Honor. I was her neighbor. He I was don't... using me. If you were going to have the check to make sure you were going to get paid back the thousand, what happened was, Your Honor, she gave me the check. I deposited it in my account, so she get the money off. Goes in, direct deposit. I get funds immediately. Okay. I took funds out for, her, gave it to her in increments but of six hundred a piece, a couple multiple times, and in the process of that, I gave her six hundred the first day, second. And then in between that, I was buying her, you know, a couple things here and there that she needed right out of the account. So she gave you a check for two thousand dollars. Yes, Your Honor. In your statement, you said you gave her a thousand dollars, but now you're saying you gave her six hundred at first. I gave her all of it, Your Honor. I just oh. no, did it in did increments, not. is what it was. I can only take out up to X amount of dollars per day out of my account. So the first day you gave her six hundred. Yes, Your Honor. And you're saying no. He gave me a grand the first day. And She's he never saying bought. You even gave more. You gave thousand dollars the first day. I couldn't have, Your Honor. It's six hundred. I did it in multiple increments. I can only take out the six hundred. 
He so why are you saying he gave you a thousand? He took out the six hundred, then he went back to try for more, and he got the other four hundred. I was right there with him. She's making you look better. She's saying you. No, I get it, Your Honor, but my story is not going to change. I can take six hundred out. I do. I can take six hundred out the next day, and I did that in between. So I can take out six hundred, but I can also spend more. So I can only allow to draw six hundred, but I can still use my card to buy things like you know, uh, random things. I think I, I went, we went and got she more food, smokes, whatever she needed, just, you know, here and there items. Okay. And I, and I subtracted that from that as well. What did you get me? The question, though, is it doesn't much matter how many other things you were buying her or doing her. It, it, clearly, you had some kind of relationship. We don't need to say it's what Excuse my name, Your Honor. It, you, it, it is what it is. I got you. Okay. You're not in a relationship anymore, are you? No. We never were in a relationship, Your Honor. I was her neighbor. He I was using me, Your Honor. I well, you didn't use her for anything, Your Honor. You certainly trusted him. Yes, me and my kids did. Let me just be clear on what the story is here. You received a $2,000 check as a settlement check. Yes. Your bank was closed. So you asked your neighbor to cash the check for you. Yes. And. You took the check, deposited it in your bank, and instead of right away giving her the $2,000, you're saying you gave her $1,000, but she still to get another $1,000 for the check that you were supposed to cash for her. You're saying over time you did in various other payments. In, very, in increments of, okay. of amounts of 600. So this, yeah, we're not talking this about a loan. You were just asked to cash her check. And you're saying you never got the other thousand dollars? No, Your Honor, I have. Did he ever hand you cash, whether it was six hundred at a time or two hundred here? And did he hand you another thousand dollars in cash? No, he didn't, Your Honor. Okay, because that was the check you were supposed to have cashed. It wasn't like a loan, and I'll pay you back one day, and I, you know, I'm doing other things for you. She just wanted you to cash that check. I did, Your Honor. So I need some evidence. Your Honor, I have of that. my bank accounts. Sorry to cut you off. You can yeah, finish. go ahead. Um, I can only go back to three months on my accounts. I can't. I can't even. She's even saying I gave her a thousand of it. Um, I gave her more in increments of that. I can only look back up to three months through my bank account. So and it would just come up as an ATM withdrawal. It wouldn't say I gave Stacy. X amount of dollars. Right, so we're not going to see any particular evidence. I couldn't, that yeah, I couldn't. It was all ATM transactions, Your Honor. And, and you gave her the cash. And I did give her the cash. I've done other things to help her out, well, too. Well, one of you then has to not be telling the truth. He, it's not a misinterpretation. Your Honor, if I may, yes. she was talking about relationships and things like that that has nothing to do with anything. Her idea of our relationship was way further than what it what she even thinks. I used to get harassed by her just walking in my house. I came into my house multiple times while Your she's Honor, just sitting in lying. my on my house. Okay. And my daughter has even brought it up. Like, <laughs> why is this girl just here? And then when I move to my new house, I'm unpacking. Wouldn't you know it? I turn around while I'm unpacking, and who's just walking in my new house without me turning around? There she is standing again. He is it, lying, it, Your Honor. He showed me. He brought that's me on to my his kid, new Your Honor. apartment. I would never do that. She just. He brought that's me to everything. his new apartment. He even asked for my help around his new apartment. <laughs> okay, Your Honor, I gave her the cash. I was harassed. I have countless text to messages of me when trying I, to get my money back. I'm not going to argue the fact. Evidence She's o. saying I gave her more. I'm telling you how I did it. I gave her her, her money back and some while being harassed. And I gave her a, a $2,000 washer and dryer that was in my you apartment. You gave it to I me. Knew. That doesn't mean you don't owe me my money. I gave you your money. There is nothing. These are, these are things I've done. And she Just wants because to talk you about give me something and things doesn't like that. mean you don't owe me my what's but mine. I get into the story, Your Honor. I did give her her money, and I helped her out all no. in the meantime because no. she does have kids trying to help her all in the meantime while being harassed and dealing with that. Hi. My son has got autism. I was going to use that money to go buy him special toys that he needs. Because everybody gives everybody just free $2,000 washers and dryer, Your Honor. You that, get, that just happens. because you give me something doesn't mean you don't owe me what's mine. I did. Mine. I gave you that and on top of that. You gave it so to me. So you're overly was compensated. Was there a written agreement that you did not owe me my money? She was overly compensated, Do, is, Was there a written agreement that you did not owe okay. me my grand? Was there? The point just, she is making 
is regardless, not to say that it wasn't a nice thing to do. No, I did. The money's okay, in. Okay, regardless of what items that while you were neighbors you gave her or helped mm -hmm. her with or whatever, the question is on that $2,000 check, she just wanted you to cash it. I did, Your Honor. Okay, and I, I gave need her the money. some Check evidence, because that's the only thing I'm, I you know, go I'm not three going months. to rule on the relationship yeah. if there was one. The issue is that $2,000 check, which she asked you to cash, clearly $1,000 was returned, even though there's no agreement exactly how that 1000 whether it was 600 and then another 400 but she got the 1000 back. So she's just saying, I didn't get the other thousand back. You're saying you did pay her that cash, just just. It came to after in, in a couple, within a few days. It was it was brought to her yesterday. No. Within a few days, no. you're saying she was paid the other thousand dollars, and you're saying no. No. But in order to do that, there has to be some proof. Now, what about okay? What about these texts? Let me I take, have countless text messages I wanted of me. to see, yeah, because these texts were contemporaneous with the whole dispute. Yes. So if I can take a look at that, that may give me a clue. Evidence O. Okay, so I'm looking for O. These aren't uh, in alphabetical order. That may not be your issue, <laughs> but not everyone knows the alphabet in the right order. <laughs> what is this? Someone really shuffled the deck here <laughs> because the letter P does not come right after A and there's an S. And it's Wait, I see an O. So this is you writing to yes. Jason. Mm -hmm. I never thought you would do me like this and claim I'm lying. I've got proof of everything. Bring me my $1,000 by 3 p.m. or I'm going to the police and I'll send proof that we have engaged in a biblical sense of knowing each other. That's a good way of putting it. Yes. And then she wrote, you cashed me $2,000 check on November 14th and only gave me 1000 of it, kind of need the rest. This was uh, days before. It's been months and I haven't seen a dime. I want it by tomorrow. I want my $1,000 or I'll be going to the police. I'm so sick of being blanked over by people. Okay, so here's Sir, my, qu here's my question to you. I probably didn't play into it, Your Honor. I didn't. You what? I didn't. Prob I'm guessing there's nothing from me on that. I probably didn't play into it or said you're nuts or something. Let's okay, but resume. here's uh, but the cursing yeah. aside. The cursing aside. Before you guys were at each other's throats, if someone texts you, anybody, and says, "When am I going to get my thousand dollars?" The obvious immediate answer would be, I already gave it to you. The fighting and cursing comes yeah. later. This but the is, first thing, been hey, done. you that owe me a thousand dollars. I handled it way before that. He and she, okay. this is months later, he and I'm not. just I'm done with it he at that not. point. That's okay. why you're not gonna get but a response. But when from when me she on there. first when she first said, I want my thousand dollars, where show me one text from you which says I paid it to you. Because that's the first reaction someone gives. Yes. You're, I didn't, this has been played. I, I'm not going to, I understand. Just, I don't have lately. to justify myself when I did something. I'm a, at this point, I just don't even want to deal with her. He's been ignoring me. She just threatened me, me with police. I didn't even care if she did I'm that. Telling everybody I'm crazy. I that didn't he care don't owe she, me anything. When I told her All I'm asking go to the you police. I didn't joke. care. I get that. Mm -hmm. I get that. I wasn't I, you, in any you way want out of this afraid now. of that. Yeah. I get that. I want what's But the point I'm, but the point I'm asking is, when she first said, before there was any fighting, I mean, this was, this was like right after you agreed to, to deposit the check and give her $1,000 cash right away. It took me almost a year, and I haven't seen a dime of it. You're, well, you notice you don't see any of my text messages. I clearly already went stuff. through the process of saying I did. Months later, I'm still getting this. Yeah. I'm not playing into it. Wouldn't you, at the time, have one text which says, when she texts you the first time and says, can I have my $1,000 back, why wouldn't your answer be, I paid you the 1000 and just show me a copy of that and this I'm sure case I did, is Your over. Honor. What? I don't even have the same phone number. I've changed my phone number since then, too. There is no clear evidence that 
she was paid back, and yet no clear evidence that you weren't. Your Honor, if I can. Yeah? Um, if I was paid back the money, why would I send him constant text messages asking for the money that he already gave me? I believe that you didn't get back all that was fairly required. Mm -hmm. And I rule then judgment for the plaintiff. End of the day, um, I'm glad everything's just over and I can move on with my life. Was I intimate? No, I wasn't. It <laughs> was escalated from harassment to leading up to something she wanted. I didn't, and cleared in everyone. We did sleep together twice. I think two or three times, actually. The lesson I learned today is never trust anyone with anything. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.